the engineering career coach, helping engineers succeed in work and life, www.engineeringcareercoach.com. It was nearing the end of my fall semester sophomore year, and I was still taking general science and math classes and had yet to start any real specific engineering courses. I was just finished pledging for a fraternity at my small college in eastern Pennsylvania. It was a fun, yet trying semester, and I had made several lifelong friends during that time. Then, one of my friends asked me a question that would ultimately change my life forever. He said, I am going to study abroad in Brussels, Belgium next semester through the Engineering Study Abroad program. Why don't you come? My initial response to the question was, no way. I had just finished pledging a fraternity. Did I really want to leave now when it was obvious that many new friendships and late night parties would ensue the following semester? I asked a few friends and of course their responses was similar to my thought. Do you want to miss a semester of partying and fun? Thankfully, my wife Jill, girlfriend at the time, and I overcame those initial negative thoughts and signed up for the study abroad program, a decision that I still consider to be one of the best I have ever made. The furthest I had been from the Northeast at the time was Florida. Growing up in America, you can become very narrow-minded, forgetting that there are other countries, cultures, languages, and people around the world. I remember sitting on the plane, ready to leave, and thinking to myself, was this really the right decision, or will I regret missing a college semester? Little did I realize at the time that not many decisions in my life would be more right than that one. I want to share with you in this article five experiences I encountered overseas and how they have helped me in my life and in my engineering career in hopes that I can inspire you to consider overseas travel in your life. Meeting new people. I lived with a French-speaking host family in Brussels. This forced me to focus a lot of energy on building new relationships with the added challenge of a language barrier. This experience really helped me later to be able to build relationships in my engineering career with new coworkers and prospective and existing clients. My ability to communicate with clients played a huge part in my success as an engineer thanks to this experience abroad. Exposure to foreign languages. Brussels actually has two main languages, French and Flemish. So not only did I have to adjust for the first time to living somewhere where my mother language was not the native tongue, but I had to learn or at least get familiar with two other languages. This really helped me improve my ability to learn new concepts, which was invaluable to my engineering career. It also forced me to become a better listener because frankly, I had no other choice. Exposure to art and architecture. I had always enjoyed painting and took some art lessons as a kid, but standing in front of the Mona Lisa, the Eiffel Tower, and the Leaning Tower of Pisa gave me a new appreciation for art and architecture, which in Europe are truly one and the same. I visited about 100 beautiful churches all over Europe. I believe this had a profound effect on my engineering career in that many engineers lack aesthetic vision. When they design a product or project, they focus solely on functionality and forget that the aesthetics have a huge impact on the user experience. I never neglected that after my experience abroad, and I believe that helped me to be a better engineer. A new appreciation for life. Europeans seem to have a much more laid back approach to life. By no means are they lazy, but it was clear to me that they maintain a distinct separation between work and life, and that was something I wasn't used to from growing up in the United States. From the afternoon naps, aka siestas, in some countries, to the family gathering rituals, it really helped to impart on me the importance of family and life outside of work, and for this, I am still grateful to this day.